Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media, and I am back with another Blu-ray haul. So, technically, it's some DVD, mostly Blu-ray, and a couple 4K, but it's the meat of this is Blu-ray, so I'm calling it a Blu-ray haul. But anyway, this is from Disc Replay and Media Reload, which is another store... Not really near me, but kind of, sort of, within an hour of me that I go to every once in a while. But some really cool things here to share with you guys. Before we get into all this, so if you have a quick second, hit that like button down below. That really does help me out. But with that said, let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right in to another Disc Replay and Media Reload Blu-ray haul. All right, so I'll start off with the two DVDs I picked up. And first off here, this was like a dollar at Media Reload. So I said, yeah, let's give it a shot. I feel like I've heard of it before, but I've never seen it. This is The Backlot Murders. And what really caught my attention is in this is the fact that Corey Haim is in this. And so that's just intriguing to me. It looks like a lot of fun. It just looks like a silly slasher film, which I love. So, yeah, I am very interested in this one. This a satiric send-up of horror films. It delivers the goods with the proper pr uh, proportion of blood, nudity, and humor. Count me in. This is The Backlot Murders. I totally forgot. This actually has an eBay haul in it as well, because that's where this was from. And actually... I purchased this as the Blu-ray, but when it came in, it was the DVD, so I actually got this for free because they just refunded me and told me I didn't have to send anything back. But anyway, this is The Descent Part 2, and you'll notice on the back, it's actually in French, I believe. And the reason for that is because I, I specifically ordered a Region 2 Blu-ray because that's the only place you can get The Descent Part 2 on Blu-ray. They didn't release it here in the States. And so that's why I was really disappointed when they sent me the DVD. But... And you can get the DVD in the States, but you, so like, you just can't get the Blu-ray. And so that was really disappointing. But because I don't own this one in any format, I decided to hold on to this. And actually, I looked at the back down here and it does say four by three format. Somewhere down there it does. And so I actually was like, oh gosh, I don't know if I want to even hold on to that. But then I actually stuck it in and it is in the proper aspect ratio. So it's just a, oh, you know what? I guess it actually does have both. 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 on the back there, which I just noticed. But anyway, it's the proper aspect ratio, which is really all that matters to me. So I will hold on to this. And then eventually I will hit up eBay again to try to get that uh, Blu-ray of this, which again is a region uh, B or region 2, whatever it is. It's from the UK, not from here in the States, because I really like this movie. Descent is one of my all-time favorite horror movies. And The Descent Part 2 is really great also. So I just want it in my collection one way or another, but I really think this would, uh, you know, do well on Blu-ray with all those dark scenes in there. But anyway, that was a lot for me to say that this is The Descent Part 2. Check it out if you've only seen the original and really like it. I think this is absolutely a worthy sequel. All right, so moving over to the Blu-rays now. This first one here is actually a, kind of a disappointment, honestly. This one I got from Media Reload when I was buying like those blind boxes. I did a blind box video here recently. Check that out if you haven't. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you should have another one coming in the, the coming days here. But I, I ended up getting one item for free, and I was trying to get the Nut Job on Blu-ray because I had the Nut Job 2 from Dollar Tree, as I showed recently. And so I was trying to get that one for free. Unfortunately, when I opened up the movie when I got home, it was Surf's Up on the inside. And so I just ended up throwing away the uh, cover art for Nut Job, and I'll just like print out something for Surf's Up. Because I don't own it, I just decided to hold on to it. And frankly, the store is so far away, it's not worth me driving out there. It was free. It's not really that big of a deal. I don't own Surf's Up, and it's a really good movie, so I'll just hold on to this and print out some cover art for it. So what was supposed to be the nut job ended up being Surf's Up. Whenever I can add movies to my collection from the Asylum, I always do it, especially when it's a good price, like Air Collision. So you guys know I love the Asylum. You can see, the, where's the logo? It's on the back back here. There it is, right there. So this is an Asylum film, which I love. And on the back, it says an action-packed roller coaster ride of destruction in the tradition of Executive Action and Die Hard 2. So that's awesome. The best part, look at that. Reginald Vel, uh, Vel Johnson is in this, which is fantastic, and Jordan Ladd, so that's really cool too, but the dad from Family Matters is in this, and the cop from Die Hard. 
yes, please sign me up. I, I need to check this one out. So yeah, really looking forward to checking this one out and adding to my Asylum collection. This is Air Collision. Now here's a movie that is available. I think it's actually on 4K in the Criterion Collection. Maybe that's not right. I know it's in the Criterion Collection, either Blu-ray or 4K. Either way, I decided to hold off on it because I've not seen it. And I always said to myself, I can probably grab this from like Disc Replay for five bucks. Maybe do that route first before spending like, you know, 40 bucks on the Criterion Blu-ray. But Uncut Gems is a movie I absolutely have to see. Of course, an Adam Sandler film that got a ton of love when it was released. And so I grabbed this one for super cheap. And if I love it, I will then upgrade to that criterion. I really think it's on 4K, but I could be, my memory could be playing tricks on me. But yeah, so really looking forward to checking this one out. It's been too long and I've not seen this, but I love Adam Sandler. So had to grab Uncut Gems. This is totally random, but I was actually thinking about this movie the other day. It is based on a true story of this like group of, I don't know if they're college kids or high school kids, but they end up like robbing rich people and it's called The Bling Ring and it's a, a, a Sofia Coppola movie. So that was the other reason I wanted to see it. But for some reason, I remember when this one came out when I was working at Family Video and I always wanted to check it out, but I never did. So I found it and I picked it up because I really am interested to see if it's any good or not i think maybe i was listening to a podcast or something that was or a youtube video that was going over like the actual story that this is based off of but it's fascinating and i definitely want to check this movie out so really cool find here with the slip cover even though it is pretty pretty badly beaten up but that's okay this is the bling ring directed by sofia coppola all right, so this next one is just because I'm a huge mark. This is Law Abiding Citizen. So why did I grab this? Because it, it seems very random to me, at least. The reason I picked this one up is because I recently read John Moxley's autobiography, which is excellent, by the way. If you are interested in pro wrestling and you like John Moxley, you need to read that book. He is just like the coolest man on planet Earth. But anyway, in that book, he makes some movie recommendations and some music recommendations. And one of the recommendations he made that I hadn't seen was a law abiding citizen. Because of that, I added it to my cheap Blu-rays to find list. And lo and behold, like the next day or two days later, I went to the store and found it on Blu-ray for cheap. So I picked it up. He really talked this movie up. And frankly, I've never really heard anybody talk about it. So I don't know too much about it other than I need to see it because John Moxley told me so. And damn it, that's good enough for me. Law abiding citizen. Next up is a movie that I've been wanting to find for quite a while. And I was able to pick it up at Media Reload. It's actually a Catherine Bigelow film. This is Detroit. Now, I want it, of course, because it takes place in my hometown here, but I thought this was about the race riots in Detroit, but reading the back of it, I'm not entirely sure, so let me know down below. It just says that this is a gripping film based on the true story of one of the most terrifying secrets in American history. So I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but I remember seeing the trailer and I thought, oh, that's about the race riots, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Either way, Catherine Bigelow, I'm sure it's going to be great, and it takes place in my home city here. Well... I'm in the Detroit area. We always just call it Detroit when we're out and about, though. So, yeah, looking forward to, to, to uh, finally checking this one out. This is Detroit. Next up is one that I was fairly certain I owned on DVD, but I must have gotten rid of it years ago in anticipation that I was going to uh, upgrade to the Blu-ray. Well, it took me this long, but finally... I've upgraded. This is Monster with Charlize Theron and Christina Ricci. This, of course, is based on Eileen Warnos, one of the most infamous female serial killers of all time. And uh, it's a fantastic movie. I think, she, okay, so did she win? Yeah, she won Best Actress. Uh, Charlene Theron, uh, Charlize Theron won Best Actress for this. And she is brilliant in it. She is unrecognizable in this film. It is a wonder to behold. Such a great movie. You guys know I am huge into the true crime genre. So this was just like a movie made for me. I loved it. This is fantastic. This is Monster. This was a really cool find from Media Reload. And I thought it would have been cheaper, but for whatever reason, it wasn't. It's actually a Shout Select. This is The Blue Dahlia. 
So this is actually written by Raymond Chandler, who is obviously the very famous uh, crime novelist. And it has uh, Veronica Lake and Alan Ladd in it. It looks like a film noir. And I am very intrigued to check it out. A George Marshall production. So hopefully this one will be good. I don't know much about it, but the Blue Dahlia always caught my attention because, again, going back to true crime, there was the Black Dahlia, which is really the true crime case that got me into the genre back when I was in high school. And so because of that, I think that, you know, that name was stemming from something like this. And so very intrigued to check this one out and see what it's all about. This is the Blue Dahlia. And like I said, it is a Shout Selects line, spine number 53. I don't have very many of them in my collection, but this was like 6 or $7, so I had to pick it up and check it out. So excited to check out the Blue Dahlia, which is my last Blu-ray. So let's jump over to the 4K titles now. First up on 4K is a film that came out not too long ago, and I think I talked about it in my honorable mentions. I did own it on DVD, and the first time I saw it, I didn't love it. So I was not going to pick it up for the like $20 new price tag, but at Disc Replay, they had it for like $8, so I picked it up. This is Training Day, and now that I say that, I think this may have actually been like $6, so I think the next one was 8 but either way, this is Training Day on 4K. So yeah, excited to revisit it. Like I just... I think I saw it when I was too young and I just didn't appreciate it. Can we make note, I know others have talked about this, but how annoying is it that they released a 4K movie in a Blu-ray disc instead of the standard black uh, 4K disc or 4K... Um, whatever this is, case, that's the word I'm looking for. Like, that's so annoying to me, but thank God I had the slipcover with it. So yeah, anyway, training day with Denzel Washington. I'm hoping I like it better on my second viewing. And then last but not least today was, like I said, $8. And this is another newer release, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And again, it does have the slipcover with it, which is awesome. I get so many of my Marvel movies anymore from Disc Replay on 4K. I just get lucky there a lot. And so this one I actually found from a Disc Replay that I don't frequent nearly as often, but maybe I need to because I found this one and Training Day over there. But yeah, really interested to check this out. I loved the original Black Panther, of course. I mean, who really didn't? It was a brilliant movie. And so very intrigued to see how this one is. Let me see if this one has the digital code in it and if it does i will share it with you guys ah it doesn't oh well it has both discs in it though the blu-ray and the 4k so anyway yeah very happy that i was able to get this one for super cheap i'm glad i waited which is why frankly when it comes to the new dc and marvel movies i tend to just hold off on them i'm not caught up anyway i'm not going to watch them right away i might as well see if disc replay has them a month or two down the line so it worked out this time this is Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and that's going to wrap up my Disc Replay, Media Reload, and I guess eBay Blu-ray haul. All right, so 12 more movies for the collection, two DVD, two 4K, and the rest are Blu-rays. So let me know down in the comments below, out of this pile, what do you recommend most? What is the movie that I need to see today as opposed to waiting a few months down the line? Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on these and anything else. I appreciate any and all comments down there. So thank you so much for all that support. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this one, please hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. And like I always say, I don't just talk movies. I talk all things media, books, movies, video games, graphic novels, manga. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time.